Hello and welcome to another video about the tool that I am developing, another devlog, developer's logbook. Pretty fun so far. I'm having so much fun do, uh, creating this application, this program uh, that I basically can't stop. So here is the current status, right? We have we have a menu. <laughs> Yay. It is still called working title because there were a lot of recommendations from you how I should call it, but none of these is, is like, this is the name. This is like, this is the name for it. I still, I'm still not convinced. I, I collect them, but I'm still not convinced. So if you still have any uh, ideas, just put them in the comments below. So here we've got this, right? We will have settings where you can hook it up to different types of PLCs, have a lot of settings like tools that we have nowadays, right? <clears throat> And now, right now we only have one level. We have one level, which is the playground. Which this, that's the main thing for now, right? The main thing, the playground. The one thing right now. So let's go in there and whoop, you, are, you already saw it probably <laughs> a little bit. So there we are in, in the playroom. Let's call it the playroom like Mr. Gray did in 50 Shades. Uh, I think called the playroom. I don't know. This is my playroom. <laughs> um, yeah, what you already saw last time was a conveyor belt, right? So now this conveyor belt, it is there is more components on it right now. We had this operator panel and the conveyor belt basic version. This is now a little bit more advanced. I have made these things here on top. You see, if my cursor gets there, they turn green, and I can click them. Right? Those are spawners, right? With those, I can spawn different types of objects and I can spawn multiple ones and you can see the physics system is a little bit um, improved. So I can spawn many boxes and a pop, 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 pop. That's a little bit too many. I can reset the room, right? You should not see what's on the left yet. Um, I can reset the room here because, well, obviously I messed up. If I now just put one box, you see I also have LEDs. You see the green one in the center? Green LED is on right now. And this is also hooked up to the PLC. So the LED right now is controlled by the PLC. I won't show you the TIA program right now because it's not necessary, but imagine it's all in TIA right now, as well as these push buttons, right? I have multiple push buttons. I can push it here. You see the box goes there and improved physics systems. Look how pretty it falls, like, like a real box, almost like a real box. And those ro red boxes that we have are despawners. That means if something hits it, it's going to despawn. So I'm making big progress here. Uh, pretty good, all standardized components. So I could have hundreds of those in the same room, in the same scenario, or hundreds of those in different scenarios. You see also my sensors, they look a little bit more pretty. I am on the way of implementing different types of sensors, improving this a little bit as well. Um, so you see that. So huge improvements we've made here, but now for a <laughs> For a part that I thought about a little bit, how do I get TIA and how do I get troubleshooting, analyzing your system in here? Because I want, in here, I also want a troubleshooting mode where you basically search your signals, you look at the uh, at a given scenario, look at the machine and you know, hey, this is wrong. And how can I analyze this? How would you analyze it in reality? You would look at documentation, you would look at the program, you would look at your tech table. And therefore I have made, here it comes, uh, this little working room here, this little office. <laughs> you see this little desk? I love it. <laughs> I love that. Um, most of those are just props, right? The laptop is the only important thing. And um, let's check it out. If I click on the laptop, we see we zoom in. Oh, the cursor will be gone. And every I will make this pretty enter. This is just a screenshot shot of Tia Portal. And there you also see like a list, right? And this list, that's the stuff that is in red i20.0 until i20.7 q20.0 um, those are the real signals that are right now in the plc right so i let's see this everything is false except i20.7 let's put something in a sensor here you see now the sensor is active this one and my led came on so i should have one more input and one more output active let's see I have input 20.5 is active now, output 20.3 is also active, indicating, hey, there's something going on with the system. Right? So the laptop here will be used for troubleshooting, for analyzing the system. So also if I do this, let's see, you can see the changes. You saw there's some sensor now came off and now some, some signals, they just turn on and off. This will be for troubleshooting. This is a lot of fun doing it. <clears throat> 
right? And I like the style of it. I, I just love this little table that's right there connected to my conveyor belt. So those are all standard components. I can just put hundreds of those in there. Um, for now, I just have made the PLC connect to eight inputs, eight outputs. I am at the point where I actually need more. So I need to think about the script that I create as many inputs and as many outputs as I need. And that's the next on the list, or oh, that's definitely on the list to come very soon. I think the next thing that I want to create is actually the first level. This is just a playground. I want to create the first level, meaning, hey, you have a task. Somehow you get a task and then you have to fulfill the task. First task will just be press the button, make the box go. That's it. But I want to create a level. So let's see how that pays out. Uh, how, how, let's see how this is going to work. I just love this. I can go here and click on the laptop and I'm in the laptop view and I can check everything. And then I go back to my belt. I know, hey, this is the problem. So I could exchange a sensor or so. Uh, stuff like this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you ask me, I know I am kind of biased because it's mine, but I love this. If I would have been given this as a student in a good version, if it would work perfectly right now, I'd be happy. But of course, it doesn't do much. But I would love this so much. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the last thing I just wanted to show you very quick is actually the program behind, right? Right here we have the... Hmm, why can I not move anything? Oh, because I'm still there. Uh, the program behind here we go. I cannot... Why can I not move? Oh, because I'm in the game, sorry. <clears throat> wrong view. I was in the wrong view. So... Um, yeah, here you see I could now take more spawners. I could make I could place those basically everywhere all around, right? I can make more higher and different components. I have different box sizes. I could take more LEDs. LED goes here. Basically, this could indicate hey the conveyor is on. I could just connect it. I could just connect it to a different PLC output, to the PLC output of the conveyor, and done. Right? So that's Awesome. I could also change the colors if I want to. LED green right now. I could. I also have a material LED red and so on. I just del deleted the wrong thing. You can go. You can go away. LED four. Yeah. Um, and the last thing. This happened to me when I was programming. Um, and I have scripts. I behind all of this. You see, there's scripts. They are all written in C sharp, and I made one programming mistake when doing it, and this was actually a lot of fun when I did it. Um, and I I re-implemented it here because I wanted you to see it as well, right? <clears throat> so here I go. Uh, this is just the 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 basically the view, the testing view, and I have those to spawn elements, right? And I can spawn elements when I press on them. Um, the problem was in before I did not ask for was the button pressed i was asking for is the button currently pressed and i was asking for it over and over and over again so what happens is if i press this thing it is of course still pressed so it does it all the time like every time the program is executed so let's see what it does i feel like santa whenever i do this i feel like santa and this is probably how santa's little factory works as well so here we go <laughs> I just keep it pressed the button and you see the boxes just come out of this thing. They pop out an infinite amount. I tried crashing my program. At some point in time, my PC just goes down. Like I keep it pressed. I just shoot boxes here. <laughs> I want to make a game where I just shoot out boxes. That, that's your weapon. You shoot out. You shoot boxes. And this is just awesome. And you see how the LEDs, because the sensors get triggered, the LEDs also go crazy there. That's pretty fun. <laughs> At some point, it's going to be overloaded. But you see, I am Santa. I am Santa. Oh, that's so great. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. And you see the physics engine behind actually calculates for all of them. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Having so much fun making it. Um, just the last thing, so that you've seen some programming in this episode. This was actually the simple script here. This is the programming language, and I have this void update. If... My cursor is in range with the box that I press to spawn one. Then I have input get button. And that's not get button. That is get button down for only when you press it. And not if you keep it pressed. Only if you press it. So I made a small change. So let's see if that worked. So you see other programming languages. They are just, they're all the same. Once you get a little bit programmed, you get it all. And now we spawn 
every button press just one that's boring one button press. i can still spawn a lot <laughs> but now i need to click very very fast okay so i don't want to drag this out this is the current status of my program of our program if you have any recommendations if you want me to continue or also if you want to be an alpha tester uh, i also have the connection right now to plc zim right i i fixed i i made plc connection from plc zim so this is right now actually communicating to plc zim pretty cool um maybe one thing if you want to be a beta a beta alpha an early alpha tester write a comment i'll consider making um a public version pretty soon whenever i have one or two levels i want to people to test it so leave a comment if you like this leave a comment if you want to participate and leave a like do not forget to subscribe i am having too much fun with this and i will see you in the next video, bye-bye.